Welcome to another episode of Blade Runner Tool Sharpenings Before and After. A gentleman just brought me this beautiful old carbon knife. Now, can you imagine what's going to happen when I put that wood I use orange oil on that handle? It's going to make that thing pop right out of there. I'm going to clean that all up. I'll put a really nice point on that. And the remaining, I've done a lot of these, but the, the kind of the reason why I wanted to do this one, it has some really unusual um, striations in the, uh, the metal itself. Now, I'm not really sure what is making that but it looks pretty cool. So when I get it all cleaned up, we'll see if it's still there. And if it is, it'll really be a nice looking knife. And I'll show you my results when I return. Welcome back to Blade Runner Tool Sharpening's Before and After. That uh, high carbon knife I was showing you a little bit earlier, I finished that up. Did that not come out sweet? And those uh, unusual striations, the owner came back and said that um, apparently one day it had been left moist or wet and they put it like in a strainer and um, the moisture it rusted the, th the thing as it dripped down and um, even with my cleaning procedures it must have been uh, almost, almost like it um, engraved itself right on into the uh, side of the knife uh, even my cleaning techniques didn't take it all completely out so it was in there quite deep but it does kind of look cool it almost gives it a, uh, a faux pas Damascus look but um, I put some what I use orange oil on the uh, handle and of course like I said uh, uh, those rivets just pop right out of there those handle pins so that's what makes the world go around here Blade Runner tool sharpenings before and after hope you enjoyed the video hey like us on Facebook and on our new YouTube channel and remember with Blade Runner there's never a dull moment <laughs>